farmers more than meets the eye. Autobots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us. For this special figure showcase, we're going to be having a look at the Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Generation Selects Bug Bite. So what we're going to do in a second on this video, we're going to unbox him live. We're going to have a look at everything that comes inside the packaging. We're going to have a detailed look at him in both of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him. And then of course, we'll do some comparisons with him and some other figures as well. We might as well start off by looking at the packaging and in honesty, as I say with all of these, it's not that great. But what we have got here, of course, it's not an Autobot and it's not a Decepticon. It's a mixture of the two. It is, of course, the Mercenary logo. And in all honesty, this is probably one of the main reasons why I got this. Um, I wasn't overly impressed when I first saw the figure. I thought, yep, I know it's just another redeco or a slight retool. So inside here, we've got... It's like a cliff jumper's body, I believe, and it's got a bumblebee's head um, from, of course, the other figures that have been released under the Wolf Cybertron toy line. But then what I saw was, of course, his little appearance in the Earthrise cartoon. And that straight away for me made me think I actually really want one of these guys because he's, he's quite cool for that reason. And you can obviously set up all the different scenes with him. I've got Double Dealer as well, so... That was one of the main reasons for me to get him. So there he is, nice and small inside that box. At least I suppose there's some deco, shall we say, on the inside of it. I'm just going to quickly take this out. It definitely is. That is definitely uh, Bumblebee's head, obviously. There is, of course, the mercenary logo on the front of his chest. Um, and I don't actually own a cliff jumper. Um, I do, as I say, I've got the Bumblebee. And funnily enough, um, I know this video is made after the figure came out. I've got the generation, no, the shattered glass gold bug on the way, shall we say. So I will have another one of these molds very soon. But what I'm going to do now then, because there's nothing else in there, I'm going to quickly take him out of that little plastic casing and I'll come straight back to you. OK, then, so I've took him out of his little plastic casing. And when I did, just to let you know, anyway, this bit came off straight away. This bit stayed in. But as you can see, it just reattaches. No problem whatsoever. I've already pointed out that that is definitely the Bumblebee's head. But let's have a look at it. We've got full rotation on it there. Does it go backwards and forwards? Just a slight little bit. The shoulders are pretty much as good as ball and socket all the way around, up and down. And yeah, full articulation there. We've got hips out in or up and down, same as at the knees. That's as good as an ankle, as I say, rotation as well. The detail on these figures are brilliant. I know that people have moaned in the past that this is too small to be what's known as a deluxe figure. Um, but, you know, it, it's a great figure. It does look really good. The detail on it is brilliant. I'll show you some more detail when it's in his alternate mode. And it has got so many points of articulation. And I'll show you in a second as well when we come to it. It has got this particular weapon that can be used in a number of different ways. So what I'm going to do now, and again, the main reason for this is just to keep the length of the video down and not to spoil it for yourselves. I'm going to very quickly just transfer, transform him into his alternate mode and I'll come straight back to you. OK, then we're back and I've got him in his alternate mode. And again, quick apology for not doing it on camera. But the main reason I didn't do it is exactly that. When you get a hold of one of these yourself, or if you've got Cliff Jumper or Bumblebee at the moment, you will know and really appreciate how good the transformation process is. It's just brilliant. It's stunning. Everything clicks, folds out. You know, the wheels sort of appear. The only way you can really tell that's a robot is being super picky and looking at there's his hands. But even they're used to hold, you know, the back end of the car in place. And again, the detail is stunning on it. The wheels spin around perfectly as you'd expect. There's even detail through there of high performance brake discs. So although it is a smaller figure for the price point, it just looks so good. The alternate mode itself is a bit of a strange one because it looks a little bit like a Porsche 924 Turbo. Although the front end, it resembles a Mitsubishi Starion, which I've probably pronounced wrong either way. But again, great, great little figure and 
I'm not saying I 100% agree with the price point, but what I think this definitely helps with. The fact that what we can do now, what I'm going to show you that you can do with these accessories is brilliant. It just adds so much more play factor to it. So, of course, we've got the alternate mode sitting there. This is how the, I suppose it's a large cannon, isn't it? Comes inside the package. What we're going to do, we're going to take these out. Now, this is a new figure, so let's hope everything works as we want it to. We're just going to reattach these into the slots you can see on the back there so you can have these either way we're going to attach that is it going to go in oh it's nice and stiff obviously again brand new toy that's going to hold in place perfectly i'm now just going to twist this he says trying yep out of the way i've nearly knocked that out as well and now we've got that large five millimeter peg there at the back um, so you can actually as well, if you want to put a battle master, attach it to the back of this because the port's the same size. And then we can attach this onto the roof and look at that. Again, that looks stunning for a start straight away. So you've got this giant cannon that you can attach to the back. And then what else you can do, we can take this apart again. I'm going to take it into all its pieces. So we've got the two struts there shall we say we've got the back piece and then we've got you can already tell that when we put them in robot mode in a second that these two can be two guns but what we're going to do and again this is brilliant it means that you can store everything in this particular alt mode alt mode as well as in robot mode without having to worry about losing any parts this part here actually now folds out as well we've got a dowel there and two teeny teeny little dowels there so what we're going to do there's a hole there and the two teeny holes are literally going to go into his fists right there so this again look look how slick it is it just all fits together beautifully now you can probably notice see we've got two tabs there what we're going to do we're going to take these guns and there's two tabs at the very in fact there it is on the black dowel there so these are now going to line up on that like so that fits into place just like that and same again here so we've basically like now got some <laughs> is it going to click in yep some like oh one of them's back as one of the way rocket boosters for the bottoms and then this is brilliant as well this i suppose is the little ps dollar resistance we've got these which were struts when they were of course in the other mode we've got some dowels there and what we can now do, in fact, if we turn it around properly, these are a little bit like, there we go, help it ski, <laughs> like a ski mode, which is, again, just brilliant. Oh, stay in place, please. Typical, that's the problem with all new toys. So there you go. I mean, look at that. So the playability that you've got with this figure is brilliant. That's just in this particular mode. And that's just a way, you know, or three ways, shall we say, that you can use his accessories absolutely stunning so what i'm going to do now i'm going to come back for the final time we're going to have him in robot mode and we're going to do a couple of comparisons and we're going to round it off all there for you right then so we're back for the final time and we're going to have a look at how all his accessories fit and can be used when he's in this mode again i do apologize for not doing the transformation and i mentioned the fact that everything's tucked away but just to let you know there's his back wheels hidden away lovely and his front wheels are there tucked away nicely as well. Again, just a super, super slick transformation. So what we're going to do now, and I think this is where that Hasbro in maybe, in my own opinion anyway, sort of justifying their price points. Because although they've got this weapon here, it does so much. It's, it's so, so clever. So let's have a look at a few of the things that we can do with him. So we can take the back off like so. That's the five millimeter port there that I was on about earlier. And there, so you can use this as a shield. We can take this as it's already built up in this particular mode, and we can attach that there. And we've got a super powered up and protected bug bite. And funnily enough, while we're going to keep him there in that mode, I'm going to do a comparison because that's exactly how I've got the bumblebee. So let's have a quick look. As I've already mentioned, the face sculpts are the same. Obviously, the body works a bit different because the beetle is much more rounded. But yeah, they're brilliant. Really, really liking them. Looking really good. Again, haven't got the cliff jumper to do the comparison, but really liking these particular figures. What I'm going to do now, though, I'm going to move him out of the way and I'm going to 
I suppose, mess around, play around with, show you a few of the things that we can do with all the things that he's got. I'm going to attach this back there at first. I'm going to take this apart. And as I've already shown you, this does break down into numerous little pieces. So again, it's brilliant as to how you want to do it. Let's take that off there first. Let's take these out. These, of course, can be little pistols, which I'm going to put in each hand, which looks brilliant. Here we go. That's all clicking into place like that. So there they go. That's another way that you can choose to display them. We've got on here, we can even attach this. You can see there's a little cutout there. And then on this particular piece, there's a little tab there like so. So we can even attach this. It'll clip into place there. It looks like, I suppose, an arm cannon as well. So it looks really, really good. Again, I'm loving the fact that what they do with these figures now, that even though there's quite a few accessories, that you can completely attach everything to it. I know I'm saying that, but these are here, but I'm going to show you in a second how you can attach them. Um, so you haven't got to worry. You can take everything out of the box. You can attach everything up. It'll be absolutely fine. You can, again, if you want to, before I show you how to attach them, we can, of course, bring these back together like so. Give yourself the larger gun. And I know I'm just messing around with it, but the possibilities of it, they're, they're brilliant. And I think this is what makes the play factor thing, making it all, again, just, just more fun. So we're going to put these back here. Depending on which hand it is, I'm going to take one of these. So if this is going to go in that hat, in his left hand, I'm going to attach that to the side. Perfect. And then I'm going to do the same on the other, like so. So these will all fit in. We've got every single thing attached to him we haven't got to worry about losing anything and it still looks good it doesn't look like we're just sticking everything on aimlessly brilliant brilliant figure really liking him yeah i think i, th I think he's really good as i say i didn't intentionally go out and get him but i saw him make his little appearance in Earthrise, and that's what did it for me so it's it's good i like it i love these generation selects i wish they did a bit more with the packaging which i've said um so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it helped you with your decision and whether you wanted to get one for yourself um and of course how you want to display him i think what i'm going to do with mine to be fair is probably keep him like that because it's just completely different to how i've got bumblebee so there we go there he is the generation selects war for cybertron trilogy bug bite thanks for watching guys take care thanks for watching like and comment and don't forget to subscribe